Since landing on Mars on February 18th, NASA's Perseverance rover has been undergoing extensive testing. The rover has also recorded Martian sounds, and they are pretty weird. After a 300 million mile journey and a stressful plunge to the Martian surface, NASA's Perseverance rover landed safely on Mars. Initially, the rover has been searching for a suitable zone for Ingenuity Mars helicopter to attempt its first flight tests. But two days ago, on Wednesday, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory announced it had selected a location. Now the rover has beamed back the first ever sound recordings of a vehicle driving across Mars, thus adding a whole new dimension to Mars exploration. A day ago, NASA publicly released two versions of the 90-foot, 27.3-meter drive on March 7. Four days ago, the Mars Perseverance rover's metal wheels banged as it made its way across the rough Martian terrain. Perseverance's entry, descent, and landing EDL microphone captured more than 16 minutes of sounds. The microphone remains operational on the rover after its historic touchdown on February 18th. In the first version, you can hear the movement of the rover's six wheels moving across the surface of the red planet. The source of the noise isn't yet known, but it may stem from electromagnetic interference with one of the rover's electronics boxes or interactions between the rover and the ground. The microphone, which is just a standard off-the-shelf model, was specifically added to the rover to capture the landing and was not originally intended for surface operations. But the sounds of Perseverance driving across Mars's surface are certainly more than welcome. The second version is a shorter compilation of sounds from the longer, raw recording of the drive. It lasts for just 90 seconds and filters out some of the noise from the unfiltered cut. On March 10th, NASA also released clips from its SuperCam microphone, in which both Martian wind and the sound of the instrument's laser zapping rocks could be heard. Such information will help scientists as they search Yezero Crater for signs of ancient microscopic life, taking samples of rock and sediment to be returned to Earth by future missions. Audio can also signal to scientists how well Perseverance is functioning and potentially identify issues with the rover. The SuperCam sounds were part of a series of systems checks the rover has gone through ranging from the unstowing of Perseverance's massive robotic arm to making its first weather observations using the Mars Environmental Dynamics Analyzer. Mission team members said that they hope to hear many more sounds from Mars, including more wind, storms, falling rocks, and the sound of Perseverance's drill as it digs into the surface. But now that NASA has found the right airfield, the Perseverance and Ingenuity teams are making plans for the rover to deploy the helicopter. Ingenuity will have 30 Martian days, or SOLS 31 Earth days, to complete up to five test flights. After Perseverance drops the helicopter on the surface, it will roll back away and take images of these historic flights. Ingenuity also carries two cameras and will be able to share its aerial views. And then the hunt for ancient life begins. Between the rover's 19 cameras and its two microphones, the experience will be packed with sights and sounds. The rover will characterize the planet's geology and past climate, pave the way for human exploration of the red planet, and be the first mission to collect and cache Martian rock and regolith, broken rock and dust. <laughs>